it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be back on MAFM V2 to finish off the harvest. Um, I had hoped to have this recorded uh, yesterday, but I was having some issues with the game. Um, it wouldn't load. And I found out, well I had downloaded a couple of new mods. Well, not new, but you know, newly added to the game. Uh, downloaded the Alice Chalmers all crop drill and the Ford chisel plow and it turned out that the Ford chisel plow was the thing causing my issues so <clears throat> um, but yeah so in this episode we're going to do these last four passes of beans get everything stored away at the farm and then we will start selling um, start selling some grain and then we'll sell as much grain as we can in this episode and then the rest I will sell off camera so that way uh, on Tuesday we can do some bailing. Let's call our course play driver over here. I was having a lot of issues where he would go towards the truck which really did not make sense because a we're over in this direction not towards the truck and b his course still went straight a little bit yet so it's being really really weird i haven't had that issue yet but see i think we'll slow down so that way we can be unloaded before we reach the end here actually no we don't have to worry about that we can just flip over to the other side and we can still unload on the go. I'll just have to catch up. So it is about 7.30 at night here in game so we're, we're running a little bit later at night but gotta get everything finished and uh, definitely shouldn't take long to finish this up oh I missed that okay we gotta go back <laughs> and get this that sucks big time I just missed that okay stop 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 oh, you have to be kidding me get out of the way there kind of out of the way out of the way for the moment but uh, once we come back he will be in the way no worries by that time we might have to unload we will have to see um, we'll see maybe uh, I do want to figure out what kind of yields we got I know they're going to be really unrealistic but just want to see what this supposedly was but uh, Gotta do some different stuff here. Uh, field work. So field nine. Okay, so I'm just gonna put all this stuff down in my notes. Field 10 in here. Yes, we do. 5.03. And then field 11, I uh, will have to redo because 
as you guys saw I just kind of overwrote the course for each side so it's extremely cold today it is like negative 18 19 something like that winter it sucks big time Definitely glad that we're almost done with this and can move on to something else. Hopefully we'll have a pretty fair amount of money to work with uh, some equipment and some cattle. I have to see how she ends up. We're going to spend some more money as well because we're going to fill everything full of fuel before it gets parked away. So that way it's all ready for the next season, the next harvest. Shouldn't take too terribly long to sell. I know, um one crop is going just over there to one of those places so let's see here um, so we have wheat corn and beans that we want to sell so wheat 428 428 at Quaker Oats is ways away so we'll probably take that to Conagra it's the same price at the two so oh that's oh it's okay never mind so wheat will go to Conagra we'll go to um 428 363 so 428 is the highest for corn and that is at the biodiesel soybeans will go to let's see 1261 Those will go to the biodiesel as well. Okay. Now let's get this guy moved out of our way. <clears throat> We're not going to actually unload. I just want him to move out of my way. In fact, let's send him home. He can just go there and then... Oh, wait. We should make it. Okay, on to our final pass of beans for the season. Final pass of harvest for the season, actually. Let me put that in. That, that. Do it this way. Kind of sucks that I don't have my extended camera rotation mod. I really that mod I really like. It kind of puts out some really nice screenshots. But oh well. So tomorrow we will be back to some trucking and then uh, back to some good old FS-15. So 
Hopefully we have enough room to get up here. We should. I don't think it's filling fast enough that we won't. Okay, so we'll be able to fit all this in the truck as well. Which is good, good, good. And hopefully he doesn't try to come over here. Then we just have to stop him. And I'm ready to if he comes. So let's just go like this. We'll just stop him anyways. Ooh, this is gonna be close. It's going to be close. So this thing shows that we have harvested 96.2 hectares already. And 3.27 just now. Just since I've started recording. That's quite a lot of beans. Got 11 hours on this combine already. Putting it through its paces. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be close. So we get the GPS shut off there. And that's a wrap. Harvest is officially over. So I write down all the yields and whatever. Um, I'll just write them down now and then off camera I'll figure everything out. Because there's a lot to figure out because I still have to figure out like field 11 sizes and all that stuff. So so we'll get everything moved out of this field and we'll get that 1206 running. Uh, we have to fill him up with some fuel before he starts though. Because uh, he's down to 19 liters. But our fuel trailer is here, so we can do plenty of refueling. So we're going to get this truck filled up. And send him on his way. He can just go ahead and unload that. I'm not sure if we'll start with beans first for selling or not. Yeah, yeah. You have way too long of a startup sound for me. Okay, let's get some fuel in this stuff. So you can be off of course play now. And we can reset that. You drive now. Stop at last point or next trigger. This guy will get over here and get him refueled as well. And then we want this guy. Top him off on fuel as well. And I'm gonna course record it here. Let's see, we're in field 11. Oh, it's field 10 that I. Okay, it's field 10, I don't know. Oops. It's field uh, 10 that we don't know, so I need to fix that. I was kind of thinking that seemed a little small. Field 11 is 16.92 hectares. There we go. Okay, so our peat is ready to rock here. Uh oh. Ah, my dang mouse messing up again. I think I'm gonna have to put a new battery in it here fairly soon. Anyhow, we can reset its course. We'll get that unloaded because we have to be able to see how many beans we had. Ok, 
Okay, so we want to start in the south west heading north with uh, four headlands holy crap there's all kinds of zigzags in here wow okay you can stop that now <laughs> field 11 bomber Get him driving on his way. Let's try and get a screenshot here of him. Okay, so hop in the combine here. We can get this all folded up. Get back to the farm. How many liters of soybeans do we have now? 220-200. So. So yeah, I'll just get all this figuring figured out <laughs> off camera. <clears throat> and then I'll show it in the next episode when I start it. I'll remember to do that. So we'll get this thing dropped off over here. Get the combine put back in the shed. And we'll get the grain cart over here. Uh, the pickup and fuel trailer will leave at the field because I have a feeling that uh, 1206 will need fuel later. So, uh, we won't worry about that at the moment. We'll just move it off of the field though, out of the way, into a spot where he's already combined, or, uh, uh, not combined, but cultivated. There's the word I was looking for. <laughs> So for whatever reason, the spreader is all Katie Wampus in there. I don't know why, but I guess it is. And that's all for that beast. Now this guy we can take back as well. We'll roll the tarp up. And away we go. Oh, first let's move this pickup. So that way that's done. Okay. The old Sistari green cart did pretty dang good. It's a pretty nice little green cart. I really like it kind of nice for like those small to medium size operations and even I've seen people use it on like large scale operations too and it's just kind of a it's a really versatile 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 however whatever uh, it's a really you know it works with just about anything you know I mean if you got a combine that fills it in one go then you probably don't want to use it but you know if you want to keep your carts busy, then I guess this would be the uh, the choice for you. <laughs> but um, okay, so yeah, let's get loaded up with some beans. I think uh, start. We'll sell these first. Let's see where we got to go with these bio diesel. So okay, right across the road from the BP. We should be able to all butt up there. So I think I'll pop up there. Yeah. 
that'll work. <laughs> Whatever I was just talking about. Not a single fill without the tarp on. It's kind of annoying in a way, but. You know what, we're going to actually go to the next hour because we're not going to get much grain sold in four minutes. I don't want to tank the price. So hopefully our prices are still... Oops. Yeah, 1264. Okay, we're good. We are all set and good to go. Hopefully we'll be able to also get some upgrades. Upgrade our our combine. I think is good yet, but we need some new uh, tillage equipment. And um, I, I think I might get rid of that 1590 drill and buy the Alice Chalmers all crop. Uh, I don't know if it's smaller width wise, but it's more accurately scaled than that John Deere is. That John Deere is way off scale. So let's see here. Okay, I can't tell where it's at, but it must be this guy right here. Yep, biodiesel. Boy. That's a tight fit. Okay, let's grab us a good old screenshot. Ooh, I forgot to take a couple before. Ah, we'll take one now of this thing's selling. Forgot to take some, uh... Screenshots of that. Wow. We got like 40,000 from that. Let's see what's it say in our harvest income. Harvest income, $41,120. That's really not that bad. That's one load. We got a lot, a lot of loads left. Never even untarped it. Whoa. Hi, car. <laughs> I think we'll try and get the uh, equipment for dairy first um, let's see just want to figure out how much this baler is going to be loading balers so I think we're going to go with let's see I think I was going to do the Messi Ferguson or New Holland. So these, I think, has to do New Holland. Ninety thousand five hundred, and it does not say how much horsepower it needs, but I think we'll just pick up a new tractor for that because I don't think any of ours can pull that. Well, maybe the, maybe the International would be able to actually. Let's see how much horsepower that's got. Let's see, so this is a 121 horsepower tractor. That's the one that I'm thinking about getting for it. 121. And this is 130. So yeah, our our international should run that just fine. So we'll just use that. We won't need to buy a new tractor then. Which will help save us money. <clears throat> so one more load and we'll be able to buy that. So we'll sell another load and we'll buy that. That way it's bought. 
Actually, no. No, we won't. We're gonna actually wait to se buy, sell anything until... Until, um... Until I'm done selling green. Maybe, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I think we'll just wait till the next episode to purchase it, though, maybe, or something. We'll see. I'll have to think on that. We can't buy it until we sell another load of grain anyways, so... We got till then, at least. So we'll get this filling up, and we'll go ahead and check on our 1206, see how he is doing. Um, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to turn speed back up. Fourteen, that suits me just fine. She's gonna miss a little bit every one of those, but that's why we're on cleanup, I guess. Okay, so I just want to figure something out once here. Calculator. So. If I go one, two, six, four times three, eight, seven, six, three. Whoa. Well, that's definitely not going to be accurate. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, uh,. It said something like 48 million dollars <laughs> a load. <laughs> so that is definitely not right. Wow. And then I tried putting like $12.64 instead of $1,264. And then it came up with like 482 or 489,000, which is still way off. <laughs> I kind of wish 13 here like showed you like in 15 you know the your money and speed is up here or money and time is up here but like whenever you sell something you know it shows how much you know like if you buy something that has a red your numbers in red and it has the amount that you paid and then like when you buy or sell something then it has it that amount in green now oh, we're gonna be stuck behind this car here we're going to cut in front of them. Just because we'll be up here before they are. No cap, no stop. Let's see the money roll in. There's our 90,000, 97, 98, 99, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Holy crap. Okay, what are we at now that we've made? 82,000. So, let's just go ahead and purchase that baler. And uh, we'll just see if the dealership will be kind enough to deliver that later on. Uh, I'll do that a little later when I'm not having to tear through the yard. Because then it'll just be in my way. Please don't be turning, car. And my luck, they will be. I don't see anybody else coming on that road, so... If they turn, no, thankfully. I say if they had turned, we could have passed them here anyways. So let's just see. No. 
Oh, timer was about to go off. <laughs> okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish selling uh, at least the soybeans uh, off camera. I don't know how much grain I'll sell off camera. We'll see. But I'll start with just the soybeans and we'll go from there. Maybe I'll sell a few loads of corn or a few loads of wheat or something. Um, the next video here on uh, this, you know, the next video of this will be Tuesday. Uh, and in that video, we'll do nothing but bail. That is my plan for that. So hopefully I'll have the cultivator finished. Uh, hopefully he'll be done. Uh, we will have to manually cultivate. Well, no, never mind. I will have to see how Corsplay likes that field. I'm not sure uh, what he's going to think of that with those waterways and stuff, but we'll find out. But, um, yeah, so I'll finish selling all these beans, and <clears throat> then I'll see what I want to do if I want to sell more grain or not. Um, I think I'll. Okay. I got a plan. What I'll do is I will sell the rest of these soybeans and then get the baler uh, delivered here to the farm and get it hooked up to the international and then um, get it ready. You know, it'll be sitting at the field ready to bale. And then, um, so then on Tuesday we'll be set up to do some baling. Uh, hopefully that cultivator will be finished with that field by then, uh, but we'll see. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check, uh, turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Uh, thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.